In this lecture, we'll learn about the border utilities. With border utilities, you can quickly style the border and border radius of an element. You can, for example, remove borders and provide different kinds of border radius for images. Before we see how to style the border and border radius, please notice that I have added some custom styling for these examples. I have created a fat black border around all div elements with the word border in the beginning of the class name. This is useful for these examples since we will now learn how to adjust the border style with border utilities. Let's create an empty div element and give it the class border 0. This will remove all borders. Let's duplicate this code block four times and change the class name to border top zero, border right zero, border bottom zero, and border left zero. This will remove the border on each side, respectively. To remove borders on multiple sides, we simply use multiple class names. Let's duplicate the second code block and add the class border right zero. And let's duplicate the fourth code block and add the code or uh, the class border left zero. When we take a look in the browser, we can see the seven elements and how the border have been styled in seven different ways. In a similar way to setting the border style, we can set the border radius. Let's remove our code and create an image tag. We'll point the source attribute to an image on placehold it with the dimensions 100 times 100 pixels and add some text for the alt attribute as well. With the class rounded zero, we can remove any border radius that might have been set for this particular element. With the class rounded, we can add a border radius to all corners. Let's duplicate this code four times and use the different variations. With the class rounded top, we can add a border radius to the top left and top right corner. With the class rounded right, we can add a border radius to the top right and bottom right corner. With the class rounded bottom, we can add a border radius to the bottom right and bottom left corner. And with the class rounded left, we can add a border radius to the bottom left and top left corner. Finally, with the class rounded circle, we can add a border radius of 50% to all corners and in this way create a circle. Let's take a look in the browser. The border radius on example 2 through 6 are only 0.25 rem each, which is equal to 4 pixels, so it can be a little hard to see. We have now learned how to use the border utilities. Go on and continue with the coding exercises, which will help you learn the correct structure for these utilities. In the next lecture, we'll learn about the ClearFix utility.